Make sure you check out the description for the games with the lowest prices. Smoke now, MMY will be looking for a little vengeance in the mid lane, bringing in Silar as well, level 8 already. And Atune is in a very compromised position, but Excel GD is there to reveal the gank. Maybe they get both, they commit the quad bolt, and Ant still he graves and looks for the TP out, he's gonna make it! Beautiful play, just skates away still though, Atune could be in trouble anyway, there's nobody home! Help me, he says, help me, he's got the stick, heading on to him, pops it now, maybe, chain, backup has arrived in the form of Katarno, he's gonna get a second kill! But out they blink. Silar will escape. So they bring the mid lane, but he was he did walk over this trap here, so was scouted. Uh, Shackle's gonna last, they're gonna connect. It's a two-hero grab. Kataro jumping forward, catches out one, but he gets shackled in turn. The counter shackle, can he make it out? No, he's not able to. Then the quad bolt comes in from Silar, they decimate two, and they're hunting for more. The mech is still available. They can look to turn this with the Requiem. Atoon gets it off, it hits all four. Does he have to follow DDC? Blast it down. Can Atoon fight his way out of this? The quad blinks away. He's gonna turn back from MMI, and meanwhile, LGD hunting the stragglers. The trap slowing him down. The TA gets locked onto the Shadow Bean. Power shot not up to bring down Silo, and they turn back for two with three dead. He gets one. Can he find maybe? Refraction still has four charges up. Shackle cooling down. Turns, drops the trap, wants to fight, re-engaging onto a tune. Man mode here from the TA, and in the end, we'll all set into the range barracks, but now RTK jumps. There's the back, the wall as well. They need a little more lockdown here. Shackle coming through, not going to connect, but does focus on the maybe. They're able to bring him down once with the Aegis. Can they bring him down a second time? That's the question here. He's going to be coming back with a lot of firepower. BKB as well as a double damage, and he lunges forward onto a tune, blasts him to smithereens. No chance. That shackle holds him in in position, but now he gets off the snowball. Maybe very healthy through this, and it looks like he is going to be able to bring down the melee racks. Big dive. MMY takes one for the team, but they get the objectives here. LGD, there's the two-hero shackle, but do they have the follow-up? They need these kills. This is a lot to give up at this stage of the game. Kataro lunging forward, gets off the chains. Maybe, though, still at full HP, and he jumps in! Pops off another head, keeps on hunting for more than Night Stalker retreating to the south. See Tug looking to run, they get the Blake, the shackle. Will connect on a Silar, but it's too slow. The damage from maybe is simply overwhelming. Oh, might get Z-Tuck. There's the Glimmer Cape. Barely able to retreat, but misery. they're up onto the high ground now. Chunking through the creep wave, maybe the man in front, the Blake Shackle is there, unfortunately won't latch it now, the back wall to turn it, quick damage from maybe, chunking down, two heroes in a matter of seconds, looking for more, Tyler there with the ult, only hits Excel, but enough to drive him back at least, and during that time, they just hit so hard that the racks are about to fall, two, well actually no, just the one hero Shackle, but what does it matter? Greedy is going to get caught out and done and unknown. They'll tap out here in game number one. LGD just never gave them a chance to come online. Not enough taunts, not enough item drops. What was the issue? They have the symbols. <laughs> it felt like they just let LGD dictate everything. They they had one or two smoke spin. Those didn't connect. Other than that, they basically sat back and just let them slowly take over the whole map. It didn't really seem like they could control the darks here at all. Across the river, <laughs> MMY chase it with the iron shell. Tombstone gets dropped, and they back off. Suddenly, the chase becomes the chaser. Your Requiem being attempted, but there is going to be an, a quick stun on the maybe. Now they jump forward. They've isolated the shadow scene. Uh, no gets the jump here in the fight, and now they jump forward on RTK, looking to blast down the darks here. There's the grave, no TP. RTK immolating the burning spears. He tries to turn and take down Z-Tuck with him. Not going to happen. Unknown find two. Sloppy play here from LGD. But who's going to go in first? Coming from behind is Greedy. LGD really starting to clump up here. Who gets that jump? They charge onto the TA. Trying to dodge away and survive for now. The Requiem gets the point. There's the wall from behind. Tombstone drops in the midst of the chaos. Kataro trying to go to work on Silo, but he's not able to find the real go. The TA is going to go down. Beautiful fight this time from LGD as they meant to bring down three. They haven't lost a single one. A tune with the armless toggle, but pursued to the ends of the earth. He dunks his way back. Save me. Somebody help. But eventually there is no help in sight. And in the end, four will fall. They just did. did. See, talk. Someone in the neighborhood not able to break it. The charge goes in all the way into the bottom lane. A tune will get stunned off the bat. Has the armlet available? Is gonna get the heal off and may even look to turn. Backup is coming. Greedy's about to arrive. They cancel the Nether Strike. Jumpy back, but Z-Tuck's there. Quick on the follow-up to try and turn this one around. The Blade Nose already worn off. Looks like they should get MMY. It isn't gonna be allowed to TP out easily here as it's pulling down. And jumping forward is the Huskar. They will get the Spirit Breaker off the bat, but coming from behind is the Army of Illusion. Silar starting to really go to work. The BKB on 
and Greedy already committed the cooldown as well. And now coming the Requiem. Almost enough to kill VarTK is the Gyro. They do manage to bring down the PL on the backside of the fight, though. Great teamwork here from Unknown. That's a big grab. A base race. There's not too many ways to cancel TPs. RTK is going to use what he has, the blink vacuum, off the bat. While meanwhile, maybe and Siler chunking down that top lane. Katara working on the melee racks. Both teams can test the trade. But if they try to back down, MMY could be the savior for this team and cancel a lot. It's LGD TPing home. And they're going to look to engage a tune backing off. They've managed to isolate Katara. He's still got the Aegis here. He's going to need a little help, though. For now, hiding. Where's the vision? Where's the detection? A swarm of illusions descends on him. Oh, they might lose him twice now. It's going to be real tricky getting up here. Yeah, there's no escape. My god, he exploded. Then another back and chasing forward. A massacre erupting over on the dire side of the map. So it's a Rax for a Rax, but it ends up being three unknown heroes and an Aegis. A loss here will end the South American dream. Let's see if Unknown can hold on. TA buyback up in 10 seconds, but by the time she's able to rejoin the fight, looks like the Rax may have fallen. The cooldown will clear out those Pale Illusions, so maybe runs in. A few more auto attacks will finish off the tower, but now the dunk on the Silar. Didn't have a way to dodge away from it. He's dropping quickly to this level of fire damage, and he is going to be forced back as Greedy engages too. And Kataro will leap. He tries to get the kill and maybe can't quite do it yet. He's burning as well. Another dunk! Deep goes a two, and he finds one. He explodes in a cloud of dazzle heal damage. As Silar lips away, he's burning. Z Tug wants him to surge forward. He gets the lift. He's gonna zap him to death. Oh, a swag play from the support. He's really been the star of the show here for Unknown RTK in the trees. Oh, just blinking out. The Nether Strike. No, it's interrupted by a lift again. The beautiful plays from Z-Duck. Now the Glitter Game. Where is the damn detection for this Rubik? They simply don't have it still. A tune being focused on the backside of the fight. He got off the BKB. He's pretty tanky. Arm with toggles. He hangs on for ages. But they don't have a whole lot of backup. So in the end, they are going to lose him. The TA also gets picked off. They traded this for Silar though. Three now dead is the Undying of itself. will also fall now the charge forward on the Greedy, locking him down. They may have to use that TA buyback just to hold the line. There's the lift on MMY, dropping him down towards Greedy, who simply doesn't have much in the way of damage. And the buyback comes out now. Requiem gets the point. TA's TP'd in. A big leap to the side for Kataro. He's committed heavily. He's got to get something out of this fight. Jumping onto DDC, fairly tanky, courtesy of the Solar Crest. But Kataro does have the MKB, the missile. Moving forward, Rubik looking to hunt. They have to get more. They're chasing, they're thinking, surge, but RTK's the man being hunted by the missile. As DDC As cowers to the, the coveted Roche. Both teams do have their glyphs available. Checking the buyback situation. It's pretty bleak for the Radiant, only the Gyro with buyback. Three heroes on the Dire, including both of their carries, do have it, and they feel like they have to get this Roche after that Katara buyback, but he gets caught in the pit. He's almost in still, he's dead, he's killed by Roche dead. Dead for 90, and so here may end the dream of Unknown, unless the rest of the team can do the heavy lifting, but a tune melts and a sea of PL Spears. They've lost all their carries, they're about to lose the zombie. Excel, possibly the last to fall. The tombstone up on the high ground, now he'll TP home, but... This may be How the did end. MMY get vision for that? And meanwhile, <laughs> creeps are pushing in. Was it this like observer war that barely saw him? I'm so surprised he was able to get that charge off, and TA certainly did not expect that. A bit of a deflating way for the dream to die, but you it, called it. <laughs> this is pretty much what we're left to here. TA just mincemeat for Silar and LGD taking care of business now in the lower bracket. Didn't want to be here this early. But they'll get one step closer, bringing down the melee racks, officially getting the mega creeps. The last moments for the first ever South American team are upon us, and they have been defeated. LGD, they show the young upstarts just what it takes to stay alive here at a big event. Unknown go home, but hopefully they've learned something along the way. I mean, the TA actually just kind of gave them an easy route. It's like, hey, I have no PKB. Focus me. Focus, focus me. I have all the damage. I am really <laughs> squishy. I also have no buyback, please. Don't come at me. Well, they, they ended their game in true little, little hardy style here. Still grab some branches and we see LGD exiting the booth. They